If you're a fan of the Umbrella Academy, it could be because of the great storyline, the extremely beautiful scenes, the compelling visual effects, or more commonly, the superhuman abilities that our favorite heroes were born with. The show introduced some uniquely cool powers when it first came out. That's what I like about the show. So, I made a comprehensive list of the superpowers that were shown in the Umbrella Academy, ranking from not so cool to the best. Number 7. Luthor even though being the most obedient one of all made him number one in the eyes of Sir Reginald Hargreaves, for us, having super strength and an arm that his favorite kind of attitude isn't gonna cut it. Luther is strong, like not even a scratch after getting crushed by a freaking chandelier kinda strong. But in the universe of the Umbrella Academy, being super strong can only take him so far. And because his powers were actually amplified by the serum that Reginald injected in an attempt to save him, the powers that he was born with was much less as compared to now. I don't give a shit. Number 6. Diego. He's able to change the trajectory of anything he throws, his favorite weapon of choice being knives. During the final episode of season 2, we saw that he can also control things that come towards him and make them go any way he wishes. And not just one, but several items at once. He can easily kill multiple people at once, although when there is nothing around him to throw, his powers are pretty much useless, limiting him to hand-to-hand -hand combat. He does have great moves that we saw him use throughout the show, making him one of the best siblings of the academy. Team Zero! All right. Unstoppable! <sighs> Number 5. Ben. Please don't hate me for keeping Ben below Klaus. I mean, we all love Ben. He's humble, kind, and also he has long tentacles, making him able to rip several people apart at once. He also stopped the final apocalypse from happening. But the biggest drawback is that he's dead, and there is no way for him to do anything without the help of Klaus. I know you'd think that if he was alive, he'd be stronger than Klaus, but here's what makes Klaus stronger than Ben. A glass of orange juice. Number 4. Klaus. Klaus can communicate with the dead, and can also bring them back temporarily as corporal beings. As we saw him use Ben's power at the end of season 1, we know that he can also use the power of the other children, but they have to be dead, which most of the powerful heroes aren't. But there are 35 other children that we don't know how many of are dead or alive, so that's that. But according to season 2's dope ass opening scene, he can bring back several dead people at once and can make a whole army. Remember how the two dead people saved Klaus from hitting the ground after he was flung away by Lila? Meaning he could also use the entire army of dead people from the commission that Vanya killed, making Klaus the head of the dead. Sorry, that was that was a terrible pun. I apologize. Number three, five. Mm -mm. Shaking things up already. I admire that. Five is the most experienced of them all, as he's a 58-year-old man inside a 13-year-old's body. He has the ability to jump through time and space. Though he's yet to master his time travel ability, he can teleport himself very easily. He's also a trained assassin and has years of experience in killing people. He's not as strong as the others, but he has the ability to sneak up on his enemies and kill them before they even get a chance to react. Five's character is a huge deal in the story, as he's the only one who saved the others during the first apocalypse. Also, he was the first out of the siblings to have a connection with the commission, with the handler going as far as giving him a desk job realizing how big of a threat he was for the commission trying to defeat him in her own ways which didn't work obviously no you listen to me Number 2. Allison. Being able to make anyone do anything you say is already cool enough. Put in some cool ass combat moves and a loving sister personality and you get Allison. We don't see her using her powers much, but when she does, usually because there is no other option, she goes full in. And she does that by literally blowing people's minds. She also made Vanya think that she was ordinary for years as per Reginald's order, though it would look silly to say I heard rumor so many times in a fight, so the show never shows Allison using her powers more than once at a time. But there are many creative ways to get through that, and her powers aren't just useful in battle, but also in regular things. She can literally get or make anyone do anything, which she kind of used to do in the past by using her powers on her daughter. Number 1. Vanya. Being able to blow up the moon, destroy the earth, erase the entire human existence in a matter of seconds is a great power to have. She can turn sound waves into destructive force that could kill millions in an instant. She soon became the most powerful member of the academy after learning about her powers, then bringing on the apocalypse and destroying the entire world. When she's angry and using her full potential, there is no way anyone could stop her. So here it is. The Umbrella Academy siblings ranked by not how bidden they were to Mr. Hargreaves, but how powerful they actually are. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you look forward to more such videos. Now, it's time for me to go back to my basement. I'll see you next time.